I have a degree in ethnobotany, a double major in anthropology and botany, which puts me in a position to, to know where certain plants are around. So I've been hired by native tribes to find and locate stands of plants that have, maybe they've lost track of it, traditional useful plants. And from that, it um, became finding and locating collections of baskets in non-tribal museums that are older, unusual traditions that they didn't know those baskets were in those museums. From that, I've been now hired by many tribes to locate plants, locate and tend plants and save the habitats or get in touch with government and or private organizations to say, don't spray these plants, don't do this, don't do that with these plants. But also um, hired by tribes to go to museums, locate, document, photograph, and return that knowledge back to the tribes of unusual baskets or traditions that they simply didn't know were out there. Um, we have ivy, cherry, and many species of willow in here. Mostly it's willow. A little bit of ivy for the tan and the gray is cherry. Part of it is um, putting together the entire picture for people. Oftentimes people will know one small aspect of it. But what I like is using my botany degree as well and having the plants, picking up a basket and not just saying, oh, coiled basket, very pretty, or twine basket. But what are the sticks in here? What are the plant parts? What are the roots? I can get a, a magnifying glass, look up close. That's red bud, or that's black root, or that's whatever it is. My favorite part is the mystery or the adventure of find, tr finding something that was, has been sitting there for hundreds of years and figuring out what it's made of and who made it. Sort of a mystery. And then, but doing that for the tribes, for the people who are descended from its makers. I don't just do it. I don't sit in a dark room by myself and do this. And I don't publish anything. Um, if they want to publish something, they will. They've got enough data to do it. Um, we, could, we could call it, the author could be the, you know, the Coast Miwok tribe if they wanted to do it, or the other groups who are doing it. But amassing the data is what I like. It took a lot of work and a lot of um, patience to get to the stage we're at now. And again, it's, just, it's the same as going out into the woods and digging the roots. You greet them and bring them into the fold, bring them into the family. So when we go into a museum, they greet them. Hi, sing a song, say a prayer, touch them, feel them, photograph them, bring them back into the family. That's what I like, I like to do. So half of my work is with plants, access to plants, and half of my work is access to both the techniques and the museums themselves to bring back some of these traditions.